So what is the Community Risk Management Plan? This plan, also known as our CRMP for short, is the culmination of our strategic analysis of the fire and rescue related risks that people and businesses across the two counties of Herefordshire and Worcestershire are likely to face both now and over the next four to five years. It sets out what we think those risks are and also how we propose to deal with them through our prevention, protection and emergency response work, utilising the resources that we expect to have available to us over that period. For example, in terms of prevention, we offer safe and well checks where we visit people in their homes and offer advice about their personal safety, as well as working with our partners to help identify and tackle a wider range of vulnerabilities. In the protection field, we audit businesses on their fire safety measures and work proactively with them to rectify any issues that they may have. But we also have the ability to prosecute firms for serious breaches if they refuse to comply with our recommendations. In addition, over the next few years, we'll also be implementing the recommendations of the Grenfell Tower Inquiry, which could see the fire services gaining more enforcement powers and responsibilities. In regard to emergencies, we already respond to a wide range of incidents from fires and road traffic collisions to water rescues and floodings. These can also range from small events to major incidents like the severe flooding that we had at the start of the year or our response to the COVID-19 pandemic where we've been supporting partner agencies such as the NHS and local councils. The last CRMP was very much focused on driving through efficiencies from all areas of the service as we needed to redesign how we did things to work within a much smaller budget. In real terms, we reduced our annual spending by about 9% over that period, while still managing to deliver high quality services to the public. And although we need to continue to manage our finances tightly, this CRMP is much more focused on determining how we can add more value to our local communities and partners by using our existing skills and resources to undertake a wider range of work activities. A great example of this is the work we already do to support both the police and ambulance services in gaining safe and quick entry into properties where the occupants are thought to be vulnerable or ill. During the floods, we also undertook welfare checks on people who remained in their homes and helped deliver medicines as well as nursing and care staff to vulnerable people who were also stranded. We also use our drones regularly to support the police with their missing person searches. We're very fortunate to have a highly skilled and well-motivated workforce that want to use those skills to help their local communities in their time of need. Another area we are keen to look at again is how we measure our performance against our existing response standard. Because of a number of changing factors over the years that are highlighted in the plan, this is no longer regarded as a meaningful indicator of our effectiveness. But we'll have a much more focused consultation on this when we start to look at it in more detail in the future. With all that in mind, please take time to read the CRMP document and complete the online questionnaire. We'd like to hear what you think of our plan, as well as any suggestions that you might have. It's your chance to have your say. Thank you for listening.